Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a really interesting video to do. We've got some new crossover news, and also we've got a creepy ass trailer to go and break down for you guys for The Flash Season 5, Episode 5, which will actually not be airing next week, but the week after. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So first off we're going to be breaking down the trailer because that's like my scheduled video and I'm going to include my crossover stuff in this video. Also should probably have an Arrow or Legends review out sometime tomorrow. Sorry for the delay on that, I've been really busy and I'm barely just fitting this video in. So in the trailer, which is extremely creepy, you guys know I love horror films but there's things in horror and things associated with horror that I can't deal with, that I squeal over. And contortion is one very realistic thing because it's a real thing that people can do that is very horror-like and Oh, this trailer just made me squeal. I'm just sort of shivering here. I love dark horror. I love things like that. But this is like, oh gosh, this guy is actually doing that. And I'm like, this is not human. When looking at it, that is my reaction. Wow, I'm so excited. Like I said, I love the horror genre. And this excites me so much. But also at the same time, it makes me go, Oh, it's just so weird. Let me know if you have the same reaction in the comments down below. But as we move on throughout the trailer, we get glimpses of him. He wears a mask. This is Ragdoll. And the dude in real life, the actor, was on America's Got Talent. And God, just that alone is like super creepy. And now he's a serial killer in the TV show. So we get a shot of Barry as he's probably looking at Ragdoll, seeing him do this. And... There's various shots of him throughout the trailer getting out of like a box or something, that is just mega creepy. And then the following shot is of Barry as he's getting attacked. So there is various victims and Barry's one of them. And this gives me major Halloween vibes, I'm talking about the film here. Major Michael Myers vibes when he just lifts his body up, that's exactly what Michael Myers does. Great homage in this trailer and the idea that he's a serial killer and this very same shot with him in the mask, standing up, stabbing Barry, very, very Michael Myers. That excites me so much, I love that film. And so, in the episode, Barry's going to be kidnapped, he's been stabbed by him, so he's a target. So, we're gonna have to wait and find out what happens to Barry, but it seems like maybe he's on his hit list of sorts, but... Wow, does this guy look creepy. Look at him upside down, walking like some sort of distorted animal. It is crazy creepy. Really, really works and giving you chills. So anyway, let's move on to the next thing that I want to talk about, and that is the crossover images. So EW released a first look at the monitor in the crossover, and you guys know I've been talking about the monitor quite a lot if you've been following the channel recently. And you guys know that I've read Crisis on Infinite Earths, and I am a massive fan of it. It's probably my favorite comic book of all time. The monitor is a main character in Crisis on Infinite Earths. The monitor is sort of like your good version of the anti-monitor. The anti-monitor is more known than the monitor. You guys probably have heard of the anti-monitor not to get confused with the monitor who is actually a good guy and we don't really know what he's going to be doing too much in the crossover like but we can theorize and this first look image is just everything it, look at this suit this suit is amazing he looks really comic book accurate with his hair he's holding a book that from behind the scenes photos which I do think I'll break down in a few days time. Black suited Superman is actually holding it and he's using it and I think this book has something to do with the idea of what the monitor stands for, that he protects these realms, he protects the multiverse from the anti-monitor and so everything that you're seeing in the background is teasing Crisis on Infinite Earths or a different version of it that we potentially may see in the crossover which is so exciting because you can see in the background a planet, it could be Earth, exploding from its core. This is very, very comic book accurate to Crisis on Infinite Earths when the different Earths from the multiverse are actually cracking in half and are actually being destroyed by the Anti-Monitor. So that's a reference to Crisis on Infinite Earths and that could be happening here 
which excites me so much as I've said and this crossover has so much going for it there is so much going on I really don't know exactly what's going to be happening there is honestly so much to break down I've done videos on basically everything still can't piece together exactly what's going on but this poster does lean towards crisis on infinite earths with the idea of what's happening in the background and with obviously the monitor being here and that book is probably something to do with protecting the multiverse i think black superman black suited superman is going to be one of the villains of the crossover and maybe someone with that power must be stopped by the monitor and he must protect our earth so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye Shut free.